Today we're going to take a look at the capabilities of the No Coast when you team it up with an awesome MIDI sequencer sampler like the Octatrack. One of the coolest things about the No Coast is it's a very fully featured single voice synthesizer with MIDI, not only note on, note off, but also MIDI control signals uh, at your disposal to repatch and shape the, the tone as you like. And that's particularly cool when you want to work with sound design or using an external MIDI sequencer. Uh, I like the Octatrack, but there's no reason you couldn't do this with Ableton Live or uh, a DAW. What I want to do here is build up a basic track. We'll get a kick, a snare, uh, maybe some hats or some percussion, um, and maybe something that we can make into a pad, and then live uh, sequence the bass line and, and tweak it on the fly, and that's what we'll wrap up with. So let's jump right into that. Okay, so we have the Octatrack sending MIDI to the No Coast. Let's just get a little kick drum signal here. This is already sounding pretty decent. But I want a little bit of sharp attack here. So I'm going to use the slope envelope. Trigger it from the end of onset out of here. So pretty much immediately uh, when the main envelope fires, we'll uh, have a nice sharp slope trigger that we're patching into the one volt per octave input. And if we turn this up, get a little bit of a click there. We don't quite want a laser gun. Good. Let's uh, blend some of the overtones in so we're not just listening to Oh, there we go. That's pretty good. Let's listen to that. Let's drop the pitch. Yeah, that sounds good. Cool. Let's get a sample that real quick. All right, so we sampled our kick. Now let's work on a snare. I'm actually, uh, to get sort of a noisy sound, I'm going to self cycle the slope, and we got a nice fast time here. Uh, and the slope is normaled into the multiply input. So if we listen to some of the overtones here. I'm actually going to put a little bit back of that attack that we were using for the snare. Actually, give it a little bit more of a goose into the exponential input. There we go. Let's use that. Uh, actually, I like that instead. Yeah. All right, we'll sample this in. Okay, so now we've got our kick and our snare. Um, let's work on some hi-hats. Can probably use something similar here. Do a closed hi hat and an open hi hat. Closed, open. Cool, let's sample that in. 
All right, we sampled our hi-hat, so now let's uh, get a sound going here that uh, we can use the Octatrack to layer and kind of get uh, somewhat of a pad sound. Um, so what I'm gonna do is just patch the uh, offset output of the voltage processor directly into dynamic, so I can just use this as my volume control. Already, that's pretty good. Get something kind of buzzy because we can always use the filters in the sampler. I want it to move a little bit, so I'm going to turn on the slope um, cycle mode. And we'll move this to the multiply since the output is normal into the multiply input. Balance the fundamental in a little bit more. Turn this down a tiny bit. Maybe make this a little longer. Yeah, that sounds good. Okay, cool. Let's sample that in. Okay, now we sampled everything into the Octatrack. Um, I've gone ahead and put everything down, um, added a little bit of effects and just a little bit of tweaking. Let's listen to everything we got. Um, got our kick there, snare, add a little bit of bit, bit crusher there to give a little bit more noise. Hi-hats, the open hi-hat, and our, our pad sound. Once played, uh, I think a fifth down, another one is slightly pitched up panned around left and right, give a nice pad. So now let's jump into the uh, live sequence here. Um, I've got one MIDI track on the Octatrack uh, sequencing out um, to the no coast. Um, we're gonna make use of MIDI A, uh, gate and pitch, which are just hardwired into the no coast uh, main circuit, figuring, uh, firing off our, our contour uh, envelope and controlling the pitch of the oscillator. And I'm gonna also use the MIDI um, A and uh, MIDI B outputs, which is um, CV is by default uh, configured to be the MIDI velocity uh, and uh, gate is triggered whenever mod wheels more than 50%. So on certain notes, um, I've parameter locked um, those values so we can get a little bit of variation going. Already sounds pretty neat, but we want to give a little more like tweaking to it. So the first thing, one of my favorite sounds is taking the uh, the velocity, patching that right into decay. So with a minimal velocity, it's going to be very short notes. The higher the velocity, the longer the decay, and the longer the sounding note. Now let's take that mod wheel amount. What I want to do since that outputs a gate, I'm going to trigger slope. And what do I want to do in the slope? All right, let's, um, let's patch the slope into the uh, control processor here. I'm going to have the slope open the balance circuit. So we'll go from the fundamental to the overtones. And I'm not using this control processor input here so that I can manually create an offset be able to tweak that. Right, let's bring some of the stuff in. Throw 
Awesome. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Again, those all sounds came from the No Coast. A little bit of help of sequencing and sampling from the Octatrack, but just want to show you how much uh, cool stuff you can do with just the No Coast and a little bit of help from your favorite sequencer, sampler, etc. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, stick around uh, or check out the channel for, for more videos in the future. Thanks a lot, guys.